Hey everyone, so this is the new version of Current, which I've been playing around with a bit. And if you already own Current, this is a free update. And they also have an intro sale going on, and I think it's 50% off, so maybe if you're interested, now is the time to at least try it. So in this version there are of course a few new things, but the main changes, at least for me, are this play section here, where you can control the macro knobs. And they also have a new effect uh, frequency shifter called Wave Shifter here. So if you have watched a few of my videos, you know that I like to use wavetables that sound interesting when they're really low pitched and one of those that I like to use is this one here and I also like to combine this with the bend function so we can start right away use macro 1 on the position of this and then macro knob 2 on the bend let's keep it in this lower area here let's also make this a bit wider here and we can also activate the sub and pitch this down one octave and one of the main modulations that i like to use for this kind of stuff is pitch modulation of course so let's pitch this one down maybe two octaves and then we can go a bit higher Let's add some effects. Because I like to use this very low pitched sound, I know that I'm gonna need a lot of compression to bring these sounds up. So let's start with a uh, compressor here. And maybe another one. And then also some distortion. I typically like to use certain types of distortion to reduce some of the high end as well instead of just filtering it out. And uh, this one works quite well for this. So we don't need to use this at 100% necessarily, but I'm just going to blend it in to reduce some of the harsher highs. And then of course something that's really nice to play around with the play function here is the Morph EQ. So let's grab something like this. And I usually like this in the lower frequency area. So let's put Micro Knob 1 on the Morph, and we can use Micro Knob 2 for the Shift. And we don't need to use this full scale, so let's just reduce this a bit. And then we can also add another Morph EQ, and add some more interesting movement there. And we can kind of switch it around now and use Micronop 2 on the Morph and Micronop 1 on the Shift. And let's maybe re reverse this. So as we turn the knob up, it actually reduces the higher frequencies. And maybe actually we don't need to go all the way down with this. And then we can also use this frequency shifter here. So you can use this with really extreme settings and change the sound drastically. But I, when I'm layering a lot of different effects, then I very often like to use the individual effects with a bit more subtle settings. For example, something like this. Which just gives these lower frequencies an interesting character. So we can use Micronob 1 here because it controls the pitch as well. And essentially I want this to be at 100% when the pitch is the lowest. And we can leave it around 50% when we have the pitch at the maximum. Then I also know that I want some compression at the end. Let's just put this one here. I like to use multiband compression instead of an equalizer and boost certain areas in volume. But I think now it's time to just start playing around with this function here. And you can also try sending the sub to the direct out so it doesn't go through all the effects here. Mm. 
might give you a bit of a tighter sound in certain cases. And if you're going for more of a one-shot type sound, what you can also do is to use one of these curves and put them on a pitch as well. And then add a very quick pitch bend at the beginning to give it a bit more punch at the start. Also set this to one-shot. <laughs> And you can also use a filter on this. Let's maybe use a different curve. Set this to one shot as well. And maybe don't go down all the way. We can use this crossover function here. Or you could also use an LFO on this. And now you can also use one of these macro knobs here to control the rate of this. And I think it's pretty nice because with this you can kind of perform the sounds. If you do some clever assignments to the filter movements here or the Morphe EQ, and also you could assign this to the distortion, at least to the dry wet and also do to the compressors, I think then you can get a really nice dynamic sound. So I hope this gave you some idea of how you can use these new functionalities and the kind of sounds you can get easily get with this. So as usual, this will be kind of the start of my workflow. I would spend like 10 minutes recording a lot of different stuff and then cut the best ones out there, probably process them further and layer them with each other to create more complex sounds. 